Big V TV, great to have you with us for a Wednesday night, middle of the week, heading into the second half of the season this weekend. Round 10 coming up, Steve Chalmers is with me. We love this time of the week, Steve-o, because we get to do things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And this time last week, we went back 10 years and had a look at the league in 2008. Today, we're going back five years to 2013, and uh, it was a cracker of a season. Well, this is your idea once again. Obviously, most good ideas do come from me on this show, Steve. I wouldn't go that far. Okay, all right. 2008 was brilliant. Yes. 2013, moving forward, another five years. Yes. Another great year, and there was an introduction of something pretty big uh, moving forward in the big V circles. There was, of course, you're talking about the VYC yes. competition, um, and that came into play for the first time in 2013. It's already been five years, can you believe it? Yeah, and it's obviously developed a fair way, and we've seen some pretty yep. immense talent go through the ranks in our youth league competition. And I'm sure that's set to happen in the next five, decade, 20 years to come. Well, I've got a big one for next Wednesday night. We've gone back 10. Mm -hmm. We've gone back five tonight, which we'll get stuck into in a moment. I've got an idea for next Wednesday. Let's go forward five years. Let's have a look at how the league looks like okay. five years from now. We'll do that next Wednesday night. How does that sound? Sounds good. I don't know how it's going to pl uh, pan out. Crystal but, balling. Uh, it would be interesting. All right, fair enough. Now, uh, interestingly, last week, uh, when we went back 10 years to 2008, we talked about the state championship men's all-star five mm -hmm. being all Australian. Yes. And I said to you last week, I reckon that might be the last time that that's ever happened. Mm -hmm. Well, five years ago in 2013, the wheel had certainly turned because the state champ men's all-star five, four of the players were imports. And I believe they were all born overseas? Yes, correct. But one was obviously unrestricted player, four were imports. Correct. Yeah. Marlo Hicks you're talking about, he was the centre in the state champ men, all-star five. The two guards were Brian Dua, of course from Ringwood, mm -hmm. Mike Rose, Bulleen at the time, Eric Williams who was a star for Cryo Bay, and Corey Standerfer, who was playing at Bulleen at the time as well. So it was it was an all it was an offshore All Star five. Certainly an impressive list, and some of those guys still running around today at the high level. Yeah, absolutely. Now the championship winners in 2013. Are you ready for this? Sure. State champ men. Corio Bay defeated Ringwood. I remember that series like it was yesterday. Just their second year in the competition, <coughs> yeah. Stingrays, and they were already at the pinnacle. Hume City defeated Ringwood. For memory, it was a three-game series, and Hume City, on Ringwood's floor, mm -hmm. wrapped it up in game three. Um, Katrina Hibbert was a big part of that. Uh, but Hume City won state champ women in 2013. And again, those, those two final series, it feels like it was yesterday. Had a big core at Hume City, didn't they, with Froggy, Sharin Milner, Yinka Olaranife. Yes, she was there as well. Yeah, yeah. certainly doing some big things out of the Broncos. Uh, Division one men, who do you think won D1 men? Well, I know because it's, it's on your sitting notes. there right in front of me. Whittlesey defeated yes. Mildura in yes. Division one men. Warrandyte, your yes. team bowing out uh, from Warrandyte. Uh, defeated Geelong in Division 1 women in their first championship as an association? Uh, that was uh, Warrandyte's first senior, first senior, championship. First senior uh, title. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Steph Thomas, of course, was a star that season for the Venom. And it was a big season for the Venom because not only did they win the senior women's title in D1 women, but they also won a youth women's mm -hmm. title the same year. Yeah. So we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, D2 men. Melton defeated Keelor. Yes, and uh, Keelor actually won the Division Two Women's yes. Championship, defeating Casey. Do you know who they were led by? Uh, Jody Impey. Jody Impey. They were led by. More on uh, more on Jodes in a moment. Um, now VYC, as you said, VYC was the first season. Uh, VYC men, uh, not surprisingly, because there's still a juggernaut right now, Kilsyth defeated Diamond Valley. Yeah, a ton of great uh, players yes. running around. One in, in particular. Not only that grand final, but the rest of the competition, which we'll touch on later. But uh, none other than Kyle Adnam yes. was lifting Dominated. the trophy for the Cobras. Dominated. VYC women, Dan Nong defeated Sandringham. And those two have had a fair matchup over the five years in VYC That's women. That's right. Just gone from strength to strength, haven't they? Uh, Youth League won men, uh, Keelor uh, had three teams in grand finals, they had two championships in Youth League won men, Keelor defeated Werribee. I think that happened last year as well, so they've gone full circle in four or five years. Yep. Uh, Youth League won women, we mentioned Warrandyte, Warrandyte defeated Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. 
Now for memory, the semi-finals that year in Youth League won women. Absolute nail biters. In fact, Warrandai just got over the line on their home court, I think against Coburg for memory. Okay. And then came out and beat uh, Hawthorne by about 15, 20 points, right. but nearly didn't get there. Uh, and Youth League two men, Camberwell, defeated Coburg to win the title. So they were the championship winners in 2013. What about the MVP winners? Well, it's interesting. State championship men was from one of the championship winners, Eric <coughs> Williams won MVP. Star. Youth Player of the Year was Jack Purchase, who's currently running around with Hawaii yes. University. So certainly, how's this though? A bullying in state champ men in 2013 had- There we go. Ben Simmons running around. Did run around had, for some games. Had six games, averaged of 12 points, eight and a half rebounds. I think he was a 16 year old. Yeah. 16 or 17 year old running around. But um, how did they not make some postseason noise? They not only had Ben Simmons- Standerfer. Simmons, Standerfer, Mike Rose, yes. Adrian Sturt. It's a fair team. Yusuf Krafau. It's a fair team. And Trev Latham, all it, running around in the same team. It's a fair team. In fact, I think they finished top of the ladder at the end of the regular season, um, but couldn't get, couldn't get the job done. That's okay. right. Very, very strong team. MVP winners, Eric Williams from Crow Bay, won state champ men, state champ women, Amber Heg. Uh, or Heggie, whichever way you want to pronounce it from Ringwood. She was the star. D1 men, just one of his 5,000 awards that are sitting in the cupboard yes. down, down here at the Big V. Kelvin Henry won the MVP for D1 men. D1 women mentioned her before. Yep. Product of Clemson University. Came out for one season and just dominated. Steph Thomas, of course, from the Warrandyte Venom. D2 men. Jeff Crow from yes. Melton Crowley. obviously led his side to the championship, as did Jody Impey D2 for women. Keelor yes. in D2 women. Yeah, uh, and you know what? I bet you she'd still remind you about being MVP <laughs> in 2013. Um, absolute star she was. VYC men, we mentioned his name before, Kyle Adnam from Kilsyth. Youth Player of the Year in that year was Dejan Vasiljevic yes. from the Melbourne Tigers. He's obviously applying his trade at Miami yes. at the moment in college. Uh, Geraldine McCorkle was the VYC women's MVP, and uh, she's been over in college as well. I think at Idaho, she at Idaho? Yeah, if that rings a bell. Yep. Um, she'll be due back soon, I think. I, lo um, I love this one, Youth League yes. won men's MVP, Mickey Luxford. Gone on to play AFL football. Werribee, and has now come back. I think he's playing with Geelong Siebel's team. Mm -hmm. He's come back to play basketball. Uh, Youth League won women, Mel Pryor won the MVP award. Uh, Mel Pryor is uh, running around, who's she playing for at the moment? Uh, Sandy. Yeah, definitely running Sandy. around. Uh, Youth League two men was Matty Walker from Keysborough, won the MVP. Now, what about the All Star Fives? Have a listen to these names. We'll run through these. Going back five years, it seems like yesterday, some of these stars are still running around. Yes. Some of them uh, are not in the league any longer. Uh, but gee, there were some big names in season 2013. Here's the All Star Fives. Here we well, go. We've mentioned state champ men Brian Doerr, Mike Rose, <coughs> Eric Williams, Corey Standifer, and Marlo Hicks. Yes. State champ women, Jadi Rooney, Sharin Milner, Emma Badome, Amber Heggie, and Yinka Olaranifo, all Hume City and Ringwood combined. They, that, it was a clean sweep. Clean sweep. D1 women, Tennille Can, Craigie Burns, Steph Thomas, Warrandyte, Amy Wormold, Geelong at that time, Jamie Lee Pierce, Latrobe City, now with Southern Peninsula, Nicole McMahon, Craigie Burn. That was the All Star Five for D1 women. D1 men, Zach Natoli from Hawthorne, JC, Jordan Canavan down at the Energy, Calvin Henry, of course, Michael Petridis, and uh, Russell Permander. The big perm from Latrobe City. Um, D2 men, the All Star Five, Jeff Crow from Melton, Maddie Waite from Shepparton, Jordan Harding from Coburg, James Top, Packenham, and Kevin Ben, Ben 10. Yeah from Keysborough made the All-Star 5 D2 men. Uh, D2 women, Jasmine Lovejoy was playing at oh, Southern Reverend, Peninsula at that Reverend. point in time. Uh, Nicola Handrick, Lee Wilkins, Annie Blackburn, and uh, Jody Impey. Yep, just cleaned up the awards that year. Uh, VYC men, first season in, this was the All-Star 5. Kyle Adnan, Kilsyth. Deng Adele, yes. Waverley. Maddie Jackson, Diamond Valley. I think Maddie Jackson went to Grand Canyon University, for memory. Okay. Um, Benny Waldron, Hawthorne. Yeah, still dominating the competition. In state champ men with uh, Eltham these days. And Arjen Smith 
from Kiltsite. That was the All Star. <coughs> Excuse me, All Star Five. And you look at some of the other names running around in the inaugural year of VYC. Man, Kwani Kwani was at Wilsey. Yes. Now uh, played at Cairns in the NBL. Uh, Simon Grant was playing for Knox. Went to Eltham. Now headed overseas to play. Ash Constable Ballarat. Now now a key part of their Siebel team. Mm -hmm. And also Dylan Hare was not uh, at Knox. And now a key part and of their state part of this, Yes, men. absolutely. Uh, VYC Women All Star Five. Uh, Bridget Deary from Dandy, Alana Gadsby, uh, Geraldine McCorkle, of course, Maddie White and yes. Britt Renton. Some other names running around at uh, that point in time. Casey Burton Ballarat has had WNBL experience, mm -hmm. as has Abby Rayrun, uh, Rachel Antonio. Abby Wayrun. You say Wayrun? I say Wayrun. Abby Wayrun. My apologies. Uh, Bree Watman, uh, Perry Kalka, they've all had yes. WNBL experience, as has uh, Lucy Dawson. Absolutely. Uh, Youth League won Memon. Uh, Memon? Youth League One well. Men All Star Five. Middle of the week, give me a break. Uh, Youth League One Men All Star Five. Mickey Luxford Werribee. Ricky Dehan Western Port. Daniel Hanson Bendigo. Jordan Vidal Western Port. Michael James from McKinnon. Youth League One Women's All Star Five. Brianna War. Beck Hassel. Stacey Prochak. Uh, Megan Hendry and Mal Pryor. And the Youth League Two Men All Star Five from season 2013. Maddie Barr from Campbell. Mark Jeffers. He's only about 18 now, isn't he, Jeff? Yeah, about that. Uh, Mark Jeffers from Camberwell. Brad Murphy from Chelsea. Where is Murph these days? Not Little sure. Miss Murph. It's a good question. Have to follow that one up. Matty Wright from Chelsea and Matt Walker from Keysborough. The All Star Five from Youth League Two Men season of 2013. So there you go. That's a snapshot five years ago. Gee, there were some plays in the competition, Steve. Yeah, and it's incredible how quickly time passes and yep. we've got to this point obviously there's still a stack of names still part of the competition and gone on to bigger and better things feels like yesterday it does cutting down that net steve feels like yesterday i'm sure it is for you hey coming up tomorrow night we are headed out to uh cavaliers uh, uh, casey casey's casey stadium they've got their new yes. stadium renovations all up and about and we'll like to talk to them about that and uh, a couple of the other programs and their big v program of course that uh, is going from strength to strength does that include the power couple do they feature in that uh not tomorrow night right but we've touched on them the power couple a lot of uh, course over the first couple of rounds lenny lemons yes. of course that's coming up tomorrow night friday night we're back at the desk with all the big games ahead of round 10 and don't forget this time next week next wednesday we've gone back 10 we've gone back five next wednesday we're going to go forward five years What's the Big V going to look like five years from now? We're going to do a little bit of stargazing and crystal balling next Wednesday night on Big V TV. We'll be back tomorrow night, 5.30. Headed out to Casey. We'll see you then.